Jelly Roll hilariously recalls going skinny dipping after being trashed with Eric Church, never shying away from his past. Jelly Roll demonstrated that the future is what you make it. Despite his struggles with law enforcement and getting his life back on track, he is presently at the top of the country music charts. The singer watched as his stardom carried him to multiple prizes with songs like Need a Favor and Son of a Sinner. He was nominated for a Grammy Award. While enjoying his life in the spotlight, the singer recently revealed what it was like to party with Eric Church, which culminated with skinny swimming. Jelly Roll appeared on the Camp Gagnon podcast with presenter Mark Gagnon and discussed a variety of topics. But at one point, Gagnon asked the singer to remember a time when he was the most hungover. Again, it didn't take long for the country star to begin narrating the story of how he met Church. He stated, I did a gig with Eric Church at the Gorge in Washington. Eric Church was unknown to me on the first night we were there. They approached me after the show and said, Hey buddy, you should come meet Eric. I told my wife all day, I guess I'm going to get drunk with Eric Church tonight. As if Jelly Roll had anticipated how the night would unfold, the two spent several hours drinking and speaking. Jelly Roll went on to claim, I went into his dressing room, and Eric and I sat there and got trashed. I left his room between 3 and 4 a.m. and arrived at the Columbia River at 5.30 a.m. for skinny dipping. He stated, I looked like Baloo the Bear, backstroking and spewing water forth. We took a crew out there. I went on stage that night feeling like I got alcohol poisoning. While Jelly Roll has previously described his route to sobriety, he admits to drinking on occasion. I don't want to brag about drinking because I've probably been drunk a few times this year, and all of them were horribly horrible. Jelly Roll said, There is a misperception about my sobriety. I represent the recovery community, yet my sobriety differs. I am sober now, but I will still drink. I attempt to walk the delicate line. I admire the people who completed the program and truly got sober. Aside from enjoying a drink or two, Jelly Roll continues to flourish, as his music and honesty have elevated him to the pinnacle of country music.